Welcome back YouTube. Titan Fragrances here. Wanted to do a quick first impression for you uh, and a quick shout out. Uh, this is actually a, a, something I won. Great shout out to his and her fragrance reviews. Kyle over there, I, he happened to throw a little raffle. I ended up getting it. I'm extremely thankful and I want to do a first impression on it. Uh, and like I said, this is definitely where I, I want to highlight other channels, small channels, big channels. Get everyone involved in the fragrance community. You get everyone uh, that way. You as the subscribers can look at different things, get different points of views, and that's the whole reason why. If you found this channel, hopefully that's one of the things that you're getting a little different takes on things. And there's definitely a lot of different opinions. You make your own, of course. But if you do like what you see, the content that you hear, I do hope you come back. If you would hit that subscribe button, also hit the bell so you know when I do upload. Um, and bring you some more content, of course. But without further ado, I don't want to make this too long. I know there's a lot of stuff to check out, but I'm going to cover two of the three things that uh, was sent to me. Uh, this is Gorilla Perfumes. I didn't know anything much about it. I know they're sold at Lush, uh, so I haven't had a lot of experience with this house at all. Uh, some reviewers read this a while back, um, and I just seen it on there. I hadn't really checked them out. As far as what they did, I want to make my own opinions, not, not get kind of caught up in what they might say. Uh, but the two offerings I'm going to start out with, probably the more easier to wear. This one is called, if I get close enough, it's I'm Home. Okay. This thing is a gourmand for sure. And this is, I think, pretty easy to wear. Uh, it's syrupy. French toast. I mean, this thing is breakfast in a bottle. This thing is edible and it is pretty uber sweet for the, so for you people out there that have a sweet tooth, this is something you might want to check out. I'm not hundred percent sure on prices, but like I guess Lush has a lot of malls and stuff like that. Uh, they use, they're supposed to use all natural essential oils, things like that. Nothing really synthetic, no trials on animals and so forth. But this is, I, it, it, it does not smell like, but it's in the same wheelhouse as like by the fireplace where it's a cozy home scent to me. Uh, unless you just want to smell like you're at a, you know, a waffle place or something. It's, it's just very, very delicious. It's, it's, you better have a sweet tooth. If you're not into that, this won't be for you. But as far as I, the initial spray, like I said, it is just a first impression. It blew, it came across beast mode just off the initial sprays on one arm that I had tried. So it was really radiating off. Um, definitely something that's uh, more, again, along for the gourmand in you. So if you like that, definitely I would say go check it out. Uh, now the next one, title should probably say it all in a sense. This is, and there it is, Breath of God. Now, <laughs> whew. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not for those that are into designer, just run-of-the-mill, uh, generic type scents. This is for the, the individual that wants to have something that's a lot more challenging, that's going to have a little bit, a lot more zest, a lot more pop. Um, it is very smoky right off. Man, it's incense in there. It's... Uh, it's a very earthy, almost a dirty kind of, not, not dirty and just overall stink. It's just a very earthy, uh, almost a very medicinal take on, on it. Almost like a, a, a very medicinal band-aid in a sense, but that incense and that smoke is very prominent. It comes off, it is the best I could say, I guess, with the title kind of goes along with it. If you've ever been to a Catholic mass and, that grew up in that in that you know when they're burning that incense coming down the aisle that smokiness that comes across this is this is it now it could be more titled wrath of god because this thing like i said comes off like a beast and it is not for the faint of heart uh i'm still thinking on when would be the best time for me to wear this one maybe on a bonfire maybe something where there's a very strong smokiness uh cook off if you are daring enough this will not be for everybody uh, so i tell you spray and caution give it a shot if you like something different something that's just going to be 
totally not in your normal wheelhouse. Uh, so I'm glad I got these. Definitely something I, I got to find the time to wear. So again, thank you, Kyle. I hope you guys check out the channel. Check out what he's got. And, and again, come back and see me. Y'all have a very blessed day.